Hi, Eddie Rhodes again, Air Power. Welcome back to another episode of Air Power Live. Today, we want to talk about the controls on the GEMA OptiStar unit, okay? Let's look at them. So, your factory settings are 60% air, 4.0 meters cubed per hour, which is basically CFM, it's the total volume of air moving through the unit. And then we have our KV here and our microamps here that aren't shown. One of the first things you need to do is pick which part that you're going to coat to know which three simple settings down here for the voltage and the microamp limiting that you want to choose. So, flat parts like this, we're going to choose the flat selector here, okay? That's going to set up your voltage for you. That's going to be 100 kV, that's 100,000 kilovolts. And it's also going to be 100 microamps. So the current limiting is driven way up. If we have a complex part, like Unistrut or something that has a lot of deep recesses in it, then we have a simple button here that says complex parts, or Faraday cage some of you may know, right? You use that setting, we still utilize 100 kV, but we limit the microamps to 22. It's going to help drive it into that Faraday cage area. You get better coverage, okay? Third setting is recoat. This is painted already, right? So we're going to coat it again. So when we do that, we can choose a recoat mode here. It gives us 100 kV still. KV does the work, folks. And then the current is limited down to 10 even further to prevent back ionization, the little craters that you might find and would ruin your finish, okay? So that's basic controls at the front on voltage. Now, I can change my powder output here, or I can change it from the gun on the back of the gun, right? So I turn this up, I turn it down. I can turn them either way from the part so that I can not have to come back to the powder unit. This unit is basically, effectively, how much you need of air to keep the powder moving and keep it in suspension in your hose so it doesn't surge, all right? So another setting that we have, if we push our select button on the OptiStar controller, on the GEMA OptiStar controller, it gives us our rinse air, which comes out a very small hole in the electrode to protect the needle so that you keep your voltage high. And that goes back off at a quick timer and our fluidizing which helps us to fluidize the powder down at the bottom, okay? So those are your basic settings. These are starting points. All you have to do is test a part, see how it goes. If you don't like it, powder is easy, you blow it off. Thank you for watching another episode of Air Power Live. Don't forget to look us up at www.airpower-usa.com or call our 800 number listed below.